Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had an amazing holiday weekend. We're getting back into things. I am doing a easy and quick grocery haul with a meal prep for this week. We have a super busy week ahead and it's gonna be great to prep as many things as possible. I'm gonna show you breakfast, lunch, and some dinner ideas. Also, I wanted to show you this. So this is my first time ever getting this. I see they have a lot of other flavors, but this was the only one that my Walmart had. What do you guys think about it? Good. It's really good. I, I told think, them it's like a fruit dipped in dots. What, I baby? I think um, we buy this um, at a old house because it tastes like we had it at the old house. It tastes familiar to you? No, this is the first time they just came out with it from what I know. But all it is is Greek yogurt, raspberries and strawberries. Mom, did you see it and like you went over it? Yeah, when I saw it, I was like, oh, my kids need this. What and do you think? And you went to get it? Yep. Also, I feel like if you're trying to eat healthy and you want like a sweet treat, it says only 40 calories per cup, so this might be better than grabbing some ice cream. So what I just wanted to show you that. I'm gonna quickly show you my grocery haul so we can get into this. Um, these are, you know, I like to eat these when I'm watching Real Housewives, like a little treat with some duck sauce. Um, but they got chicken, that was a substitute. They didn't have vegetable. I usually like the vegetable ones better. I also got two bags of this chicken and maple sausage. It's our favorite. Um, I've never seen the bag sold like this besides Walmart, so I always grab that from there. Lots of chicken for our meal prep and for the week. Same with ground turkey, we use that a lot. Um, these are for our meal prep as well. Just some milk. I usually get the green label coffee, but this was all that they had today. This is extra bold. I like to drink this in the morning when I do my workouts. I just drink it black with ice. Cucumbers, broccoli, some green beans, carrots, strawberries, grapes, some pink lady apples. These are my favorite apples, so they're all of our favorites actually. Blueberries, I don't know if I said that already. Avocado bananas, peppers, the kids also really love these in their lunches, some eggs, lettuce, spinach for smoothies, mango chunks, so you can put these in your smoothies, but I also, um, I'm going to use this for a stir fry actually. Carrots, we're going to use for carrot fries, these are a great dessert, my kids love the grape flavor, I always love grape flavor everything too, it's always my go to, and then I got two of these because my kids fly through these, so these are definitely Carter's favorite though. Chicken nugs, staple in here. Um, these, I'm gonna actually be making buffalo chicken wraps and then some bananas. Just kidding, I already said bananas, so lots of bananas. But we use these for our protein pancakes too, so they're a must. And in smoothies, you can't have a smoothie without bananas in this house. So the first thing that I'm making for today's meal prep is our protein pancakes. I have been obsessed with these. Um, I love them. Chris, what do you think about them? <laughs> He's spooky. Anyway, I love them and they're still a favorite of mine. I have yet to get sick of them. Um, I usually don't really get sick of breakfast foods that quickly. I get sick of lunches and dinners pretty quickly though. But breakfast, I can eat the same thing for a while. So anyway, I'm gonna start with the protein pancakes. The first thing we're gonna need is two cups of oats. And if you're gluten free, just make sure that they're gluten free. So one. And then this is the protein that I've been adding to them. This is like the cleanest protein out there in my opinion. Um, it's plant-based. It is banana cinnamon flavored. I'm not plant-based. I'm just telling you what the package says. And then one scoop is going to give you um, 20 grams of protein, which is amazing. So I'm doing that. Um, this is going to be for three days worth of breakfast. So those two cups of oats. So I'm going to add three scoops of protein powder. And then I'm going to blend it up a little bit um, just to make it easier. So one, I have to count out loud otherwise I'll forget what I'm doing. Two. Three. You get it everywhere as well. Also, you can order this from like their website, the Trevani website, but I got this on Amazon Prime. The thing that I try to do when I'm meal prepping is just kind of clean up as I go, otherwise I get super overwhelmed and just like start burning things and messing things up. So clean up as we go. I am going to put the recipe on screen for just one serving and then you can do the math uh, based on how many you want. So I will do that because I know you guys really liked having the recipes on screen last time. Um, so just to reiterate, I have two cups of gluten-free oats and then three scoops of that protein powder. I'm gonna blend it really quickly. So that is nice and blend it. 
going to add in six eggs. I'm also adding in three large bananas. What I have realized is that obviously not every banana is equal. <laughs> Sometimes a good banana is like half of the size. And when you do have the smaller bananas like that, they're not as moist and not as sweet. So it's definitely like the bigger bananas. Okay. <laughs> Sorry if that I'm five. Okay, we're gonna blend all this up now. Based on how thin or thick you want your pancakes, I use um, some water. So I'm gonna start with one third cup of water and then check out the consistency. That's how I would do it if I were you. Don't just go adding random amounts of water. Um, just check to see. We want to be able to blend well. This is my first time making a large batch like this, so I'm going to do um, two thirds for this and see how it goes with water. All right, so you can see this is like the consistency that I like it. If you like a thinner pancake, more thin than that, then you just wanna add some more water or you can do milk. I just like using water to keep it simple. I also just wanna mention that no matter like how much water or anything you put in, you always wanna just mix it on your own and like scrape away everything from the walls of the blender because there have been times where I've gone to pour out my pancakes and there's just like a clump of powder. Same thing with cakes in my mixer, so we just want to give it a little mix afterwards. My griddle heating up. The Ninja Foodie is heated up. It's on air crisp on 390 degrees. So I'm going to just throw in some chicken and maple sauce. I'm going to do nine because they're making three breakfasts and the serving size is three links. Just spray my griddle with some avocado oil. some uh, blueberries. I just re-rinse these. I usually like to do um, frozen just because I feel like they give it an even better taste, but I had fresh um, that was in the fridge already. I'm going to use that up. Um, because I don't use syrup with these, so this gives me like my sweetness that I need with it. Um, you could always use syrup. I just like to use this. Um, also, in the past, Chris has put like peanut butter on them. You can do whatever you want, put whatever kind of toppings you want in them. I'm just very much um, a topping type of person. I like different textures as well. Um, the one time I didn't put blueberries in these, I wound up warming up some blueberries in a pan and then pouring them over. It's actually really, really good like that too. Um, but this is easy. All right, next up, I filled up the sink over here and I'm just gonna put some thieves fruit and veggie soak in. I'm gonna throw my carrots in. I'm also gonna throw in some peppers. And some celery. I like to break it apart because the insides are always so gross. So these look amazing. You can see how the blueberries come out on the other side. Oh. Really good like that. And then also the sausage is done as well. So I'm just going to keep making more pancakes.
All right, so that was incredibly easy. You should have about four pancakes per container. Um, I have, I ma it made 13 pancakes. Um, so I'm gonna eat one now. I'm gonna eat that 13 pancake right now. But it looks good. I'm gonna let it cool off before I put the cap on because you don't want it to get a bunch of moisture inside of it. Next up for lunches, Chris and I are gonna be having some taco bowls. This is so easy and healthy. Don't worry, that really loud noise. I'm doing two packets of meat and this is going to make six lunches total. Um, and I just always use the Shady Brook Farms. All right, so our turkey is nice and cooked. Instead of using taco seasoning, you could do that as well. I'm just gonna use, whoop, hello. I'm just gonna use a jar of this Siete enchilada sauce. It's delicious. Um, literally just tomatoes, water, apple cider vinegar, avocado oil, and some spices. There's no like weird oils or anything in there, so it's nice and healthy for you. So I'm just gonna let this simmer for a little bit. I'm gonna cut up some lettuce and drain and rinse my black beans and get everything set up to make this bowl for lunch. Super easy and healthy. Um, for mine, I'm also going to add like a little packet of avocado mash. You could do uh, like little guacamole packets or just put some sliced avocado in there just to you know add some more flavor. I also like to add cilantro as well. Um, so let's go do that. All right, so how easy was that? These are almost cooled off completely. I could probably put those away soon. Um, but Chris is having white rice with his, and then he'll add cheese and warm it up, and then add his lettuce and probably some salsa, kind of like a burrito bowl. And then I um, am just gonna have mine more like a salad. So um, I also like to put like crunched up chips on top. So that's how I eat mine. But yeah, how easy. And it's so nice to just know like you have three days worth of meals done. Before we get into the next part, I wanted to let you know that I did use two cans of black beans to make uh, six lunches. So anyway, let's get into this now. I'm doing a bunch of things at once. So I am hard boiling some eggs for a snack. I'm gonna make little snack containers. Um, so I'm just using my little cute egg maker over here. Pour my water in. Put the cap on. It'll beep and tell me when it's done so I don't have to constantly ask Alexa how to hard boil eggs. It's great. So I'm going to start doing a bunch of things at once right now. Um, and the first thing is I just have some chicken breast here. I'm going to put some buffalo sauce. Um, a little bit more than that. I think I'm going to need to open up my new one. Adding a little bit more. I love this brand, by the way. It's just like really clean and it has a really good flavor. It is a little spicy, so if you don't like super spicy, use less. I'm also going to add some of this Flavor God Ranch seasoning. I use this on like everything. Um, but we're gonna be using these for our wraps. I'm gonna mix that together. I'm gonna throw it in the air fryer. Have this on a uh, grill. Just gonna set it to grill and start, put it on to high. 
Alright, so while that gets nice and warm, these things are great. I bought these like 100 years ago. They're perfect. You just use your Ziploc bag. I'm going to be making, uh, well, I'm marinating some chicken for dinners this week. Just make it that much easier on us. Besides, meal planning makes life easier when you're like, you know, Chris and I, like our biggest questions always like, what are we going to have for dinner? What are we going to be to give? So doing this just takes the guesswork out of it, plus gets it prepared, plus makes you save money and eat home. Alright, so I have tenderloins, two packs of chicken tenderloins in this bag. In this bag, I'm going to put in some like chopped up chicken. Chris cut it up nice and like thin because it's going to be for a stir fry. So putting this in. So for my stir fry, all I'm doing is using this teriyaki stir fry sauce. It's by La Choy. Um, it is gluten free. It says it right here. And some people always question the La Choy, but I think a lot of their stuff is gluten free. Double check, but it says right here that's gluten free. It's gonna put some of this in here. I can always add more when I'm cooking the actual stir fry, um, but this will just give it a good flavor to let it sit like this. It already has like tons of spices and everything in it, so you don't need to use additional spices. We're going to use this um, either tonight or the next night, so I'm not going to freeze it. I'm just going to set it in the fridge, but it's going to marinate this. It's going to taste amazing. I'm also going to cut up our stir-fried vegetables, but we literally just have to take it out of the fridge and throw it on to uh, the stove. But before I do that, I want to make a marinade for it. This is uh, the tenderloins, and we're going to make lemon chicken with this. You can throw this on the grill in your ninja foodie, um, on the, uh, in the oven, however you want to do it. Um, but this I think would be really good on top of the salad. We're going to have it with mashed potatoes and green beans. So for our marinade for the lemon chicken, we're doing two tablespoons of olive oil. One, two. And then we're going to do two teaspoons of oregano, which is honestly my least favorite seasoning that there is. I know, a lot of people like it on their hoagies and everything, um, but on this it's good. Two teaspoons of thyme. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. I'm going to do some salt and pepper. Take up my spot a little bit. So I have all of those ingredients in here. And then I'm going to add the juice of one lemon. Cut like that. It's a gadget everybody needs. I use this all the time. It's actually getting kind of crusty if I get it in one soon. I'm actually going to use a little bit of the zest too, which you probably should zest it before you go ahead and cut it, but it's all good. I used to use a cheese grater, but ever since I got one of these, there's no going back. They're amazing. Here, I don't know if you can see it on the screen here, but look how much it gets off. Compared to like when I used to use a cheese grater, like nothing would come off. It smells so good already. Put it all in. What's nice about having a couple dinners ready is that like, I'm cutting off my head, uh, whatever you feel like, you can have, you don't have to say it, but we're definitely having this tomorrow night. And I make that decision last minute once you have everything ready. The green beans that I have are just the kind that you can come steam, you can steam them right in the microwave, but I'm going to do it on my cooktop. So they're already trimmed and ready. Um, and then I, I might do like the Bob Evans mashed potatoes or just um, some cut up potatoes roasted potato. This is perfect. Also, if you wanted to do this ahead of time and freeze it, you definitely could just write the D on it and all that. Try to get all the air out. Yeah, so I'm going to cut up stir fried vegetables, but first I'm going to add this. Now that's nice and hot. Spray it. Chicken high for 13 to 20 minutes. 15. All right, while well our buffalo chicken is cooking, I'm just going to cut up our stir-fried vegetables.
Okay, so we got everything for our stir fry. These green onions I'll put on top. Then we have broccoli. And then I'm going to add mango and some peanuts to it and some rice. Okay, so the eggs are done. I gotta put those in ice water. The chicken is done. I'm gonna let that cool off a little bit before I cut it. I'm also just gonna get this nice and prepped for snacks. You can have it with your buffalo wrap and some ranch dressing or blue, season, blue cheese dressing. I got my chicken in here. I'm going to just add a little bit more sauce and then start putting it in wraps. So these are just the Mission gluten-free wraps. They're really good. All right, so everything looks amazing. I added some carrots and some hummus to go along with our wraps. These gluten-free wraps are delicious, but they're very hard to work with. Um, and this, all of our veggies for our um, stir fry. These are just hard-boiled eggs. If I put everything seasoning on mine, Chris won't because he's allergic to sesame. We're gonna have it with apple and peanut butter as a snack. There's that. I still have to wrap this up in a produce container. The kids have been grabbing them and like it. Um, they just love grabbing, you know, any raw vegetables. The carrots that like got too small, I cut them even further and added them to our stir fry vegetables. So we have broccoli and then all So of I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.